dear science learners! Welcome to the new episode of Grade 4 Science Learning Activities. Shout out to teacher Katrina Tapay, who is a good friend and colleague of mine. She is also doing her video lessons in English 4, and if you are interested to learn more about this subject, you can subscribe her in her YouTube channel. Are you ready to learn new science concept for today? I am Teacher Lariza, your learning buddy and exploring Grade 4 Science. The fourth quarter of Grade 4 Science focuses on Earth and space. The Earth is composed of three components, which are the soil, water, and air, with the sun as our main source of energy. Soil is a very important natural resource on Earth made of tiny particles of rocks and decayed plants and animals. In Tagalog, ang lupa ay isang napakahalagang pinagkukunang yaman dito sa mundo na binubuo ng maliliit na tipak o piraso ng bato at mga nabulok na halaman at hayop. It also contains water and some gases found at the uppermost layer. Ito rin ay mayroong tubig at ilang uri ng gases na matatagpuan sa unang bahagi o bahagda nito. Land composed 29% of the Earth's surface. On the other hand, 71% of the Earth's surface is composed of water. More than 97% of the Earth's water is in the world's seas and oceans. Ang ibang anyong tubig naman ay matatagpuan natin sa mga kabundukan, sa ilalim ng lupa, which we call the underground water, at ang iba naman dito ay bumubuo sa nagyayelong bahagi ng ating mundo. The earth is surrounded by a blanket of air called atmosphere. The conditions of the atmosphere give rise to weather conditions. Sa tatlong bahaging ito, iikot ang ating fourth quarter. Are you ready to start learning new science concepts? If you are, let us begin by this learning episode which is entitled Types of Soil and Its Characteristics. Science Learning Episode Types of Soil and Its Characteristics At the end of this video lesson, you are expected to 1. Define what is soil and 2. Identify the different types of soil based on their physical characteristics. Soil covers most of the land part of the earth. You find plants, animals, houses, and other organisms on the soil. We live on the soil and it helps us in many ways. There are three types of soil. These are loam, sand, and clay. Let us discuss them one by one. Let us first discuss clay. This type of soil is made up of very fine particles of rocks and its particles are packed together tightly. It holds much water and becomes sticky when wet. Clay soils remain wet and cold in winter and dry out in summer. This soil can be used in making pots. Next, we have loam. It is a mixture of sand and clay. It contains large amount of decaying plants and animals. It has a fine texture. This soil is fertile, easy to work with, and provide good drainage. Depending on its predominant composition, it can be either sandy or clay loam. It can hold enough water and oxygen which are good for plant growth. Next, we have sand. Its particles are coarser than clay and loam. It is loose and easy to dig but it cannot hold water and nutrients well. Water easily passes through this soil. This soil can be a good soil for planting selected plants like blanket flower and warm wood. We also have other three types of soil which are the chalk soil, silt soil, and peat soil. Chalk soil can either be light or heavy but always highly alkaline due to the calcium carbonate or lime within its structure. Silt soil, on the other hand, is a light and moisture-retentive soil type 
with a high fertility rating. As silt soils comprise of medium-sized particles, they are well-drained and hold moisture well. Lastly, peat soil is high in organic matter and retains a large amount of moisture. This type of soil is very rarely found in a garden and often imported into a garden to provide an optimum soil base for planting. Now let us check your understanding about this lesson. For this activity, you have to identify the types of soil described in each number. One, a type of soil which is high in organic matter and retains a large amount of moisture. Two, it has coarse and loose particles. Three, it contains large amount of decaying plants and animals. Four, it can be either light or heavy but always highly alkaline due to the calcium carbonate or lime within its structure. And five, this type of soil is made up of very fine particles of rocks and its particles are packed together tightly. Now, let us mark your answers. For number one, the correct answer is peat. Number two, the correct answer is sand. Number three, the correct answer is loam. Number four, the correct answer is chalk. And number five, the correct answer is clay. Did you get all the answers correct? Wow! Excellent! As you can see, each soil type differs in color, texture, odor, and its ability to hold water. May lupa na magandang pagtaniman, samantalang mayroon namang hindi angkop na pagtaniman. The presence of different kinds of vegetative plants in a place is an evidence of a good quality of soil in the area or locality. Sometimes, a combination of soil is observed in different parts of our country. Soil is a system into which energy and matter from the sun, the atmosphere, and living organisms penetrate and interact. In Tagalog, ang lupa ay isang sistema kung saan ang enerhiyang nagmumula sa araw at atmosfera, gayon din ang mga bagay na walang buhay at mga may buhay na organismo ay nakakapasok at nagkakaroon ng interaksyon. It is a system because it is composed of different layers or parts. Each layer has a specific function to perform. Soil scientists or pedologists study the vertical section of the soil showing the nature and sequence of its various layers and call it soil profile. Now let us first discuss the first layer of the soil. This is called the horizon O or the organic litter zone. The O horizon is a surface horizon that is comprised of organic material at various stages of decomposition. It is most prominent in forested areas where there is the accumulation of debris fallen from trees. Mostly organic matter such as decomposing leaves. The horizon O or the O horizon is thin in some soils, thick in others, and not present at all in others. Ang bahaging ito ng lupa ay kadalasang matatagpuan sa kagubatan sapagkat nanggagaling sa mga puno at halaman ang mga organikong bagay na bumubuo dito. Ito ay binubuo ng mga nabubulok na halaman at hayop kaya ito ay mayaman sa nutrisyon na tinatawag na humus. Dito rin natin matatagpuan ang ilang mga bulate na tumutulong sa pagdecompose ng mga nabubulok na hayop at halaman. Next layer is Horizon A or also called as the top soil. The top soil is the uppermost layer of the soil. This layer is rich with organic materials called humus and with minerals needed for plant growth. Humus comes from decaying plants and animals. 
The soil's dark color is an indication of the presence of humus. Several kinds of plants can be seen growing in this layer. Ang bahaging ito ng lupa ay mayaman sa organikong pataba na mula sa nabulok na hayop at halaman. Ito ay may maitim na kulay dahil sa presensya ng mga nabulok na hayop at halaman na nagsisilbing pataba nito. Sa bahaging ito, tumutubo ang mga halaman. Next layer is Horizon B or the subsoil. The subsoil is located just below the topsoil. It is composed of loosely arranged rocks, sand, and clay. This layer is very rich with minerals that drain from topsoil. When the topsoil is washed out, the subsoil alone cannot support plant life. Ang bahaging ito ng lupa ay matatagpuan matapos ang topsoil. Ito ay binubuo ng magkakahiwalay na piraso ng mga maliliit na bato at ilang klase ng lupa. Ang bahaging ito ay mayaman sa mineral na nasala mula sa topsoil. Umaabot dito ang ugat ng malalaking puno. Next is Horizon Sea or also known as the Parent Rock. The Parent Rock is composed of rocks that are slowly breaking apart. It is exposed to very little weathering. It does not contain necessary nutrients and water needed for plant growth. Ang bahaging ito ng lupa ay binubuo ng mga tipak na matong nagbibitak-bitak. Ito ang bahaging nakakaranas ng weathering o pagbabagong pisikal dulot ng mga gawain ng tao o di kaya naman ay likas na gawa ng kalikasan. Last layer is the horizon B or also known as the bedrock. The bedrock is the lowest layer of the soil layers. It is made up of undisturbed large boulders and gravel. This layer contains materials that are good for constructing buildings and making roads. No plant life can survive in this layer. Ito ang pinakahuling bahagi ng lupa. Ito ay binubuo ng matitigas na graba at mga bagay na maaaring gamitin sa pagtatayo ng mga building at paggawa ng kalsada. Hindi nabubuhay ang mga halaman o puno sa bahaging ito. Now, let us check your understanding by answering this short quiz. Read each question carefully. Write the letter of the correct answer in your notebook. 1. Which of these is made up of smallest particles of rocks which contain decayed matter of plants and animals? A. Land B. Soil C. Mineral D. Water 2. How many types of soil are there? A. 2 B. 1 C. 3 and D. 4 3. Which soil holds much water a loam b clay c sand and d silt number four why is soil important to living things because it blank a forms part of the earth where animals live b provides the necessary nutrients needed by plants c serves as a place where people live, and D, all of the above. Last number, which of the soil type is good for making pots? A, clay, B, loam, C, soil, and D, silt. Now, let us mark your answers. For number one, the correct answer is letter B. Soil. This is made up of small particles of rocks which contain decayed matter of plants and animals. For number two, there are correct three types of soil. Therefore, the answer is letter C. For number three, the soil that holds much water is correct. It's letter B. Clay. For number four, soil is important to living things because you're right. 
Letters A, B, and C are all correct. Therefore, the correct answer is letter D, all of the above. And lastly, number five, the soil type that is good for making pots is, yes, you're right, it's letter A. Did you get all the answers correct? Wow, you did a good job. Excellent. That's it, Science Kids. I hope you learned something new in our science episode for today. If you like this video, do not forget to hit like and subscribe sa ating channel and ring mo na rin ang yung notification bell for you to be updated sa ating mga upcoming videos. You can also follow me on my different social media accounts for more updates. See you again next episode.